Yeah, it was good. You know, uh, I mean, obviously Wednesday night was a lot of work uh, for the guys. I'm really proud of uh, of the response from the team and and the way they played. I thought we showed a lot of character through uh, through a good deal of adversity with the guys missing and changes in lineup and uh, defenders out injured. Uh, and uh, you know, it's good to get a day of rest. And today we get the kinks out a little bit. You know, get ready tomorrow and play on Sunday. How did the national team guys look? Good, good. You know, uh, Johansson. Uh, it says very proud to be Swedish today after they came back and tied Germany. Uh, I was not happy with that comment. Uh, so as a result of that, I think I have to eat Swedish meatballs for a week or something. Uh, but, uh, you know, no, he was fine. Mario Martinez came back uh, good. Uh, he had a little bit of a hamstring before he left, but he was able to work on that, and he uh, was able to play through it, and he feels fine. You know, Eddie getting back into the rhythm of playing after 180 minutes in two games, you know, it's it's good to get all those guys back in. They're obviously good players. How much does it, of a challenge does it pose for Mario to kind of work his way into this team when he's kind of, you know, this part of the schedule that he's joined you with has been tough? Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously coming in in midseason, it's a little bit harder. And for him, you know, <laughs> positionally, uh, you know, we have some options there as well. And, uh, you know, it's it's why we let him go early to Honduras because we want him to get those games. Uh, you know, we've got games coming up here. I mean, I think, uh, you know, how much he plays against Dallas, we'll see. Uh, but for sure, he'll play a lot against Marathon. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it is against the L.A. game. But uh, he's somebody that we're going to need as we go into the playoffs. He's somebody that gives us an option, uh, you know, off the bench or an option in, into the starting lineup. He's a good passer. He combines well. You know, he's shown ability to score goals for his national team as well. And, and he's a player as he gets more and more used to the league uh, and our team. He'll, he'll just become better and better. Those goals teams are pretty nice too, aren't they? Uh, the goals he scored? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. He scored. He, he missed one today, and I said, look, we're not playing Canada today. So, <laughs> you know, no offense to all the Canadians out there. And Baba Sadate is Canadian, scored after that to show me that Canada is not completely lost at this stage. Would you say a good example of just the versatility that Brad Evans brings? He can start him out of position at right back, and he can move to the middle and do a job there. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's why he's the kind of player that coaches like, uh, you know, because, you know, for us now, he's played right back, he's played center back, he's played all four midfield positions, he's played up front, you know, he played up front against New York, I think last year or the year before, and, uh, you know, he's, he's the kind of player who, you know, will also accept whatever role you give him, you know, if you say, this is what I need you to do today, it's like, hey, if this helps the team win, then I'm going to go there and I'm going to do it, and, uh, you know, you need those kind of guys who, who have that who have that versatility but also have the mentality to to approach that in, in a positive manner you know I mean I took a player uh, here this season played him out of position in a practice and it was like well that's not where I play what does he expect from me and you know all of a sudden that's a whole different mentality so uh, you know you you've got to have a good mentality you got to have versatility but uh, I thought he played very well at center back I thought he did a good job I did the I... same lines uh, David Estrada kind of worked his way back into his team similarly as Mike Seaman I mean do you see that as a as a potential for him to be able to work his way back into the rotation a little bit yeah, I mean, you know, he'll get some minutes as well as we move forward, uh, you know, and uh, it's just a matter of continuing to train well. Obviously, as guys, as the health of the team, and right now we're probably least healthy in the back, you know, with uh, and with Leo being out at this stage and Ayani uh, being injured right now. But, uh, you know, but overall, you know, up front, the guys are pretty healthy and it's pretty competitive. So, but that competition is good because it means they battle every day at practice and it's the guys who are sharp and who are in form. And uh, in these last three games, guys are going to get a chance to prove what they can do on the field in games. So, uh, and for David, it's a great opportunity, as it is for Ochoa, as it is for Martinez, you know, as it is for Zakawani, as it is for all those players. Kennedy had his first day of training with the mask. What did you think? How he, how he looked? Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him if he, if he liked scary movies. He said he saw the one with the with the white mask. I think that's one of the Scream movies. Is that it? So uh, so he likes scary movies. So that fits in. No, he it was good. You know, I mean, he really didn't head the ball in uh, what we did today. Uh, but we, you know, it also takes a little bit of time to get used to wearing that, having that on your face. You know, you're you're sweating in it, perspiring. Is it going to bother your vision? Those were all things that, even though we had it fitted prior to the game, and 
if it was maybe 10 minutes to go, we said, okay, maybe we'll use him. Uh, but we really needed him to get used to it in practice so he felt comfortable. But he said he felt very comfortable today with it on. Uh, didn't have any problems with his vision or anything else. Tomorrow we'll test a little more, some heading and, and things like that. And uh, you know, But I think he should be uh, an option for us on Sunday for sure. What does it mean to have a Jeff Park with his veteran experience and two unfamiliar players on either side of him? Well, I mean, it definitely helps, you know, to have experience, uh, uh, you know, means that you're not going to panic, you know, when you're in certain situations. And, and so Jeff was calm back there, you know, and, uh, you know, him and Brad get along well. So that was a good matching, uh, you know, and uh, Seaman, I think they helped talk Seaman through some difficult times, that, uh, you know, through a little bit of guidance and talking back there. So that helped uh, as well. So the experience that Jeff brought to us in that particular game, uh, you know, even a Mark Birch has been around the league for a while, you know, playing in the back now, you know, and obviously Michael Gushburning and Gold, the experience of those three guys was very important in that game. How much of Hurtado is, is just sort of comfort and, and with the mask and otherwise? Yeah, but is there some issue of actually re-aggravating the injury or making it worse? Uh, no, they feel with the mask it's well protected. You know, that was the thing is normally when you do a mask, you do it for a broken nose. And so the resting points are, are where he's got his injury. So the guy had to design the mask so that the pressure points are not on his cheek where he has his injury. So he was able to do that and uh, he feels very comfortable, feels no pressure on the injury as well. I mean, you know, we were hitting him there with it on and, you know, he can't feel anything. Uh, so it's it's fairly well protected and it's just a, a precaution. I mean, generally you're not going to get hit there with the ball accidentally anyway in the game. Uh, that happens very rarely, uh, but you got to give the bone time to heal and the last thing you want is is to refracture that because it could become a problem with your sinuses, with your vision, etc. So, uh, you know, he feels very good with this. The guy did a great job, I think, I think coming up with this mask for us and uh, so it, everything should be good. Do you have an idea how long Zach, Zach Wani and Ayani might be out? Uh, Zach Awani trained today, so we'll check with him uh, today. Ayani's getting better, but uh, really don't know when he'll be back. Sunday being fan appreciation night, and I've talked about it several times over the past year, but keep just talking about what the fans uh, I mean, I don't know if there's other words that I can think of to describe our fans, but, you know, for sure the Portland game and, and 66,000 out for that game was absolutely phenomenal. And it's, uh, again, every year you sort of look up and you say, okay, is the bubble going to burst? And the bubble hasn't burst now, and it's been four years. And, uh, you know, what our fans do and, and just the acknowledgement that our players get around the city, the recognition when you, when you walk around and you see all the Sounder jerseys uh, around town and the Sounder gear that people people are wearing and they're aware of, of what's going on and and so forth I mean it's it's all of that it's not just the atmosphere in the stadium on the day of the game it's the atmosphere in the city every day uh, and the uh, the um, uh, I can say it the respect and the love that you sense from the fans for the club and for the team uh, which is so phenomenal and we have a lot of respect uh, and and love for the fans and every time we go out there uh, doing well for them is is definitely preeminent on our mind. Because of a chance on Sunday to get a cup kind of without playing the game, is, is that game going to the Vancouver Portland game going to be on the, on the TVs in the locker room? Yeah, I'm sure we'll be watching it. You know, uh, we don't we don't want that Cascadia Cup to go down to Portland. That's for sure. So uh, we'd like it to stay here, and uh, I think that would be a great moment for our fans. It'd be nice to see them during the game pass that thing around. <laughs> and it could also affect uh, what Dallas is playing for. Uh, so I guess you're, you're kind of. Double, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, spin. exactly. I mean, if, if Vancouver uh, solidifies their playoff spot, then it eliminates Dallas, so it maybe takes a little bit of the edge off the game for them. But we have to approach the game the same way. It's all about us and us playing well and, and not worry about, about what their motivation is for the game. They asked me to do an ad, and I thought, cool. They want me because I play for the Seattle Sounders. Then I find out it's because my wife told them I'm a good dad, even better. For me, being a good father is much more important than soccer. So here's my message. Be a good parent. Stay involved with your kid's life. Do something with them, anything. Take a walk, read a book, maybe go see a Sounders game. We can make it better for our kids by staying involved and showing that we love them.